and we have been pushing for both reparations and also for the exodus of Africans uh, out of America. I, Africans? I wait, 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 wait. You mean you mean Americans of African descent to exit America, or are you saying Africans to well, exit we, America? We call ourselves, well, the African descendants of enslaved people. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Got people calling in. 844-900-7243. 844 uh, Let me go with Eugene from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey there. Hey there. How you doing, Brother Brandon? Oh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Thank you for calling in. What you got? Yeah, yeah. good to be on your show this evening. And I was overhearing the conversation you was having about uh, we're losing democracy here in the United States and China is such a bad country and so forth. But one thing I can say about socialist countries like uh, or communist countries like China, they have very little criminal crime activity that take place amongst its citizens. And I say this when you talk about the uh, black community, you find that uh, in the black community, we face a lot of criminal activity that we cannot control ourselves being black people in our own neighborhoods. One thing I can say about this is justice has a two-faced uh, 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 prospect here in the United States. And the United States have not been all that great to black people. You know, I'm, I'm African-American. And uh, it just based on some of the things that we have been seeing with a lot of the atrocities in the justice judicial system, we have not fared out all that well. And Eugene, I, Eugene, I, I, I want to interject real quick. Has America been good to you? Well, as an African-American, I can say that I have done OK for myself, but as a Overall, uh, being a part of the black community itself, America has not treated us all that well. I mean, some of us have climbed to the top, and it's based on what you uh, aspire to be in life. But overall, we have not received, you know, open arms from a country that we have actually built ourselves. Eugene, Our let me let me add this. Let me let me add this point as well. Is there another country that you think is doing better for black people than America? Well, I've, I've actually lived in Africa for a little time period uh, during the 80s and the 90s. And black people seem to do very well in those places, despite what you <laughs> see on TV. Yeah, and but I mean, do you want to live Would you Would you want to live in Africa? Because would you rather live in Africa or, or, or a country in Africa or live in the United States of America? Well, you know what? I belong to a part of a, of a uh, group called the Afro Diaspora Political and Economic Think Tank, and we have been pushing for both reparations and also for the exodus of Africans uh, out of America. I, Africans? I wait, 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 wait. You mean you mean Americans of African descent to exit America, or are you saying Africans to well, exit we, America? We call ourselves well the African descendants of enslaved people. Uh, which are, is Adolf. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Acronym. Yeah, I, I I heard I heard of Adolf, and I uh, I, I think that's what it's Adolf. called. But I, I heard of it. But let me let me just let me just challenge you on a few points, man. I I think that I disagree with you saying that America, as as if America is exclusively responsible for everything that happened to black people, saying that America has not been good to black people. I think over the last I don't know sixty years. Black people have not been good to black people. And that's probably been the most well, determining factor part, in the. Well, that is because we cannot control the dynamics of enforcing law, enforcing ourselves. You, you got to understand that we come out of a, a system where we had overseers and officers that are still overseeing the black community. Uh, we are only a small majority of people within a collective groups of other in the, other races that are here as well, but our race is virtually targeted to failure. 
because of the system that is that we are living under. I, Eugene, I, 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 I just don't I don't see it. I don't see it, sir. I mean, when you think about it, you say who is killing the most black people in the last 60 years? Who've killed more black people, black people or white people? Well, yeah, but, and the answer is clearly that we've killed more of our own people than any other race has killed us. So we would have to say that the, 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 the murderous threat to black people are black people. Well, you know what? I, 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 I disagree to that because statistics show that it's equally amongst ourselves and amongst other groups of individuals who find themselves freely uh, that can kill black people freely without any. That's not, cause. but that's not true, yeah, Eugene. If you look at the, if, that if, that's not true. That's not true, Eugene. If you look at the statistical data, black people actually kill white people twice as much as white white people are responsible for the death of black people. I don't agree to that. I don't. No, no, it's facts. Because, it's facts. It's because, a fact. I feel like you know most black people understand. The consequences of killing white people, they you kill but you feel black people, but they don't kill white people because they know <laughs> the consequences is much greater. They no, it's not. If you them. kill a listen, it's, listen, it's, Eugene, if you kill a black man, you're gonna go to prison the same way if you kill a white man. The law is the law. I, 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 Eugene, I got I gotta go to the break. I gotta go to the break, Eugene. Uh ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh. I'll be back after the break. I want to bring Eugene back in. Let me let me just make a statement real quick, and then we'll bring Eugene, Eugene back in. So the premise of the conversation is is that this is my take on it. I believe America is the greatest country to ever exist. I do acknowledge that black people have not always had it easy, and white people haven't, and Chinese people haven't either. We had our own struggles in different situations because during slavery, there was poor white people who couldn't afford slaves, and they were pretty much a slave to working their bones to the bone and working themselves to death. They just had the money to pay for their families to do so. And slavery was slightly different, but they wouldn't ha they didn't have a breeze. It wasn't like they were living on a hot horse and all these white people are uh, drinking Don Perry on and, and, and partying at the club and black people are slaves. First legal slave owner was a black man called Anthony Johnson. He was the first legal slave owner, went to court, had two indentured servants that he was able to win in court to have them be uh, his slaves for the rest of their natural lives. So, I mean, we've all been through a lot, but this country has progressed and black people have had the opportunity to do wonderful things. We've seen it throughout history. Madam C.J. Walker, which was the first female billion, millionaire, if you know, you adjust for inflation, she would have been a billionaire today. She was the first woman to make that much money out of any race in the early 1900s. Booker T. Washington started the Tuskegee uh, Institute you had all kinds of other people who done really, really great things in the, in the 20s, the 30s. Black Wall Street in, in, 1920, in the 1920s. You talk about Black Harlem. The explosion of black enterprise was prevalent even before the civil rights movement. And so I think we have a long history of success that could have been better, but we decided to start supporting the Democrats and being a part of the government system and then living this life of victimhood. And that has yielded us uh, poor results. So let me go to Eugene uh, from Charlotte. Eugene, I, I have a question for you. I asked you yes, a few sir. questions, but I have a question for you. So I, I get your point. Um, I, it, it appears, and I want you to correct me if I'm wrong, it appears that you believe in what we call external locus of control, which means that the white man is essentially in more power and control of what goes on in the black community and the black experience moving forward than black people are. Is that a correct statement or no? Yeah, that's somewhat you're somewhat uh, true with that fact as well. I mean, because we 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 have control of some stuff in our communities, but a lot of the stuff we do not control. That comes so, from politics to economics, and you talk about Democrat and Republican. The Democrats and the Republicans have not been that great to neither one of us. So most of us now are starting to move into black nationalism, which we feel if we can get control of our own politics, our economics, our judicial well-being, then we're going to be better off. Our people started out in a real bad place when they came here as slaves. And, yes, there have been some black people who were slave owners, but the mass majority of the folks who held the slaves were not black. They Eugene. have allowed a few black people to get in partnership with them in order to see the agenda that the white community has always carried forth. 
Now, Eugene, people, Eugene, I, I want I want to get I want to ask a I want to ask a real a question real quick because I'm running out of time. Um, do you think that there's anything that black people can do to change the environment in which we're experiencing in America today? And then I only got about I thirty think, seconds. I, can you do it in thirty seconds? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for certainly. Right now, I feel like the best thing we can do right now is to break off and form our own party. We also need to still push for reparations because you may speak of a lot of these communities like Black Wall Street, and there were many black towns that were built during the pro Jim Crow law uh, era and so forth, uh, uh, and, and, and have lost that because of uh, white revenge. White revenge never wanted to see black people climb to a certain level of independence. That's what okay, we're Eugene, thank you so much. I got to I gotta run to the break. Sorry I had to cut you. I got to run to the break. Uh, I'm going to bring Eugene in, and I'm going to ask you one question to Eugene. Let me ask you one question, Eugene, and then I got to move to some other callers. Um, yeah, yeah, sir, yeah, sir. Actually, did, did you attend college? I'm just, my question. Yes, I did. I graduated from Howard University, and I also Howard? received my certification. Howard University, and I received You said Howard? I, I can't, I think you said Harvard or Howard? Howard, Howard University out of Washington, oh, okay. D.C. Yep, I'm and also Howard. I received my accounting uh, certification out of uh, George Washington University. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've actually, you know, just been in the political arena for quite some time and also activism uh, for many Eugene, years now. Eugene, do you have any white friends? I do. Eugene, do you have any white friends? I do. How do they feel about what you say? Well, a lot of them. Some of them, they, some of them agree to it. Some of them are uh, allude to it. They, they don't agree because they haven't had the same experience. And so that's that's. Uh, do that's, you think it would be? Do you think it would be hypocritical, or do you think you would be upset with them if your white friend said that we need to get away from black folks because they're dragging our country down? And we, well, we don't need to have anything to do with black folks. No, I'm saying if your friend, if your friends, if no, 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 if your friends, if your friends said that to you, because that's pretty much what you're saying to them. But if your friends said that to you, would you feel some type of way about that? Well, you know what? I understand that black people don't control the dynamics of the United States. It's how not? How, how not? So when you say friends, it all depends on the level of friendship because. Sometimes your friend ain't your friend neither. You know what I'm saying? So, so do you have a close friend that's white? Can can you have a white best friend? Can you have a white best friend I, or no? I do not have a white best friend because we grew up sort of, we, we grew up integrated but still segregated. I went to school with white people and, you know, at the same time, it's still even today, white people sit on one side of the lunchroom and black people sit on the other. We're still but do you feel, but I'm saying, what do you feel like on the inside? Could you, would you allow a white person to be your best friend? I don't think so because it's a level of trust. And if uh, coming from my experience and my background and my family and their experience over uh, historical lineage, I, I, I don't see it's going to be any type of full trust that's involved. And that's because of what we've experienced as Eugene, uh, people in a society. Yeah, Eugene, thank you so much for the call. I, I'll be praying for you, my brother. Uh, thank you so much for calling in. <laughs> I just can't believe, you know, the, like the amount of racism that you have to feel in your heart to say, I, I will, will never have a white best friend because of trust. So that means that you're imputing trust issues on a man or a woman or whatever that has nothing to do with slavery. There's nobody alive today. And there are over 60 percent of the white people who are here today were, were from immigrants who came here after slavery. And, and, and I just don't like this. This is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. If I had a white person on here, and a white person said, I will never have a black man as my best friend because I, I don't trust them. Do you know how crazy that would be? Do you know people would be calling in and saying, you, that dude is a racist. That dude, if he had his name, he would lose his job if the person had his full name on there. You can't. That's, that's racism to project that you could not be associated with a person because of race, because of something that happened in history. When we don't even know whose history is what. Some black people migrated here after slavery. So how then are you associated with slavery if you came here after slavery was over? 
You have nothing to do with slavery. Some black people came here after slavery, but their ancestors were the ones who captured black slaves and sold them into slavery in the United States of America. I just, I, listen, I, I, I think, I think uh, Eugene, I used to be just like Eugene to a certain degree. I think he has the right, he, he, he's trying to do the right thing, but consumed with this Afrocentric perspective that makes you incredibly racist and paranoid. This is the greatest country on planet Earth. And black people did have it hard in this country, but not all. Not every black person was a slave either. We, we, we got to remember that. And not, and not every black person lived in the South. And not every white person was wealthy. I mean, you can, you can go down a list.